Remember, when we're talking about reproduction, we're talking about giving birth to young ones. Remember, we said it involves, for the sexual, it involves male and female. Now, mammals involves sexual reproduction, okay? So if it is sexual that we are doing, that means I have to talk about the male and talk about the female. So if we say we are going to look at the structure and function of the mammalian reproductive system, we first have to look at that of the male, and then when we finish, we look at that of the female. Very good. So we are starting with the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system. We are going to look at the structure. What and what come together, right? to form the male reproductive system. Good. First, let's look at a diagram of the male reproductive system, the structure, and then probably identify some organs, okay, that come together to form the male reproductive system. Good. Now on your screen, you are seeing a diagram of the male reproductive system right this you are seeing here is very common all the males have it it has a name right do you remember aha because you have yours you can remember even the females who don't have they can remember that this thing is called the penis right it forms part of the male reproductive system good underneath the penis, you see this one here? There's like a sack hanging underneath the penis. Do you remember the name? Can you tell us? Good. The whole sack is called scrotal sack. Some also call it scrotum, right? Very good. Now, within the scrotum or scrotal sack, we have two oval shaped organ okay there are two lying side by side there you know the name of those things normally when you touch yours you know what i'm talking about aha when you touch it you see there are some two balls what well, them balls right because they look like balls actually do you remember the name aha the testes very good there are two they are found in the scrotal sac hanging underneath the penis.